Hey guys, it's been a while since I show my face on my own channel. But as you could guess from the title of this video, this is something that is going to be very different from the things that I usually do. The reason being is because I want to cover the most content that I can in the time that I have, as I don't have enough time nowadays to cover all of the content that I want to make. So this way you can get my direct reaction, my live reaction, and uh, my hot take on different uh, content that I haven't experienced yet. I don't know if I have the audience for this. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you are interested on. And of course, uh, all the suggestions are welcome. A couple of days ago, I asked my viewers through my YouTube uh, community polls, uh, which anime movie should I watch? And I appreciate every single title that you guys recommended it, but some of them I already seen them. On that list, there are truly classics from Hayao Miyazaki and other great directors that they they simply are impossible not to see already. So I really appreciate you guys uh, for recommending me all these masterpieces, but some of them I already seen them. So when I ask for recommendation, I mostly ask for recent anime, 10 years uh ago like from 2010 to now that's the kind of content that i want to develop and of course if we keep up with this uh and there's a classic that i haven't seen uh i will bring it to the channel as well the reason why this title caught my attention is because uh, this movie was directed by naoko yamada naoko yamada directed one of my favorite animes of all time and that's Clanat and Clanat Afterlife. That's a 2006-2007 uh, anime, TV anime, uh, a couple of seasons. And there's actually a movie. I don't recommend the movie, but I do recommend uh, the se uh, season one and season two, especially season two. But in order for you to understand season two, which is, uh, I think, is uh, Afterlife, Clanat uh, Afterlife, uh, you have to watch season one. And that's a very sad story is a full throttle drama uh, that is going to really make you feel it involves a lot of psychology and involves a lot of um, sci-fi so it's very interesting and it's very sad and i definitely recommend it it's at least one of the top 20 best anime ever all i know of this movie a silent voice is what i read on the synopsis and it's basically a girl a deaf girl that gets into a new school and she's bullied. And that's basically it. So I can already see that this is going to be a hardcore drama. Uh, I don't know at what level could be, but because I'm familiar with Clanat and Clanat Afterlife, I know that this director can be very cruel and can be very uh, uh, dramatic. So I'm expecting at least the same level of emotions. Without further ado, let's begin. Hmm. So is suicide. That's a very recurrent theme on anime. It's very common. There's a reason for it. Will it be 
I was wondering why, why all these kids were so respectful with this girl. Like, this I can see happening. That's terrible. That's terrible. That might be a problem. What? So these girls are starting to get jealous for the special treatment. From what I can see. Why she is apologizing for? It was very obvious. I, I don't know how uh, professors and, and teachers they didn't do anything before to stop it. So he's being thrown under the bus now. That was such a powerful scene. That was great. I mean, it was terrible, but it's a scene to remember. Very impactful, very powerful, very real. So he's uh, current days now, right? She was transferred. She was transferred out of the school because of the Buddhism. And she's now grown up. So I guess that this happens after he tried to commit suicide. I can only imagine the the conflict of emotions 
to face your bully after all that time. Uh. <laughs> Jeez. I was wondering why the mother was taking it so good. Like, alright, you tried to kill yourself, right? And he is like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. And then, of course, it's this appropriate, appropriate reaction. That was the reaction I was expecting. So I guess that the mother was trying to be easy on him to see if he was able to confess. But he was playing open with it. Like, yes, I tried to kill myself. What other reaction can you expect from a mother, right? So he's in high school now and his older friends are already spreading the word that he's not a good influence, let's say. So this access represents what? People that don't want to talk to him? So he's in high school and he has some of his previous uh, classmates in the same class. He's not getting back his bike. No, of course いや、住所書いてあったからよかったよ。これどこにあったんだろう。田んぼに乗り捨てられてた。いや、めっちゃ探した。よかった。取り返してて。石田君どうしたの? That was really nice. 石田君。今日遊びに行こうよ。so now he has a friend probably the first friend he has in years これが友達だよ。俺はさ、石田君。友情ってのは言葉やる。それらを超えたところにあると思うんだ。石田君。そんなのいるもんか。くだらないね。いやせん。there's some wisdom in there with the smoking fry and everything. Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Oh. Ah. So he returns the book, but he doesn't want her to take a look at it. There's your fan service moment. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. 
Oh. Had to take it like a, like a man, dude. You had to take it. You deserve worse than that. He took it. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> so obviously he's starting to feel something for her. Now the problem is that in this position he's clearly on a path of redemption so when people uh, go through that path the path of redemption tends to be very cold very lonely and you tend to uh, hate yourself so on, until you get what uh, your goal is right so he won't be able to love her until he gets and achieves that redemption. I, I don't know what I was expecting. The Meow Meow Club? Club of Cats. <laughs> oh, I see. So she's going completely deaf on one here. That's why they are focusing only to one hearing aid. Oh Lord. And what he's upset me is about, you know, he's not trying to understand her. Like he should have run after her. Because the message never went through. She made a big step there. Like confessing uh, her love to him all right so that's progress there's people that are willing to to talk to him people that are willing to know to uh, to know him better so they are peeling this this excess right now, I don't get the whole meaning of the excess on the faces. I think it's people that is not willing to open up to him. That's my best guess. Probably throughout the story, we're going to get a definite explanation for that. Huh? <laughs> uh, why? Why she's doing there? No. No. You don't do that. No. Stop her. Dude. You you really are going to allow them? Oh god. This is not going to end well. Oh. 
Now she hates herself. And the bueno thing wasn't good because it's, uh, it's you know, she's telling her uh, what she feels guilty of. And that's it, that, um, that, they ch that she changed life only by appearing into that school. The problem is that uh, it's not true. The problem is that these characters, all of them, they made wrong decisions. Why is she so upset about? I mean, she, she has spent some time with him. She knows he's trying to change. Yeah, yeah, but then you come and says, you know, you're a horrible person, and I told you we were friends. Come on, man, the heck. She's leaving. That was very weird. Oh lord. She left the, the hearing uh, aid on the on the desk. On the on the table. She can hear him. You are kidding me. Jesus Christ. Kanisama, あしたから did she call him did she call her auntie so he's alive the heck
Jesus Christ. This girl hits the mother back. What the heck? Wait, that's the hospital, right? So she was trying to look at him, pay him a visit, and the other girl, uh, Bueno, was not uh, allowing her to get into the into the room. Now she's in her own path of redemption, right? She was careless because she wasn't guilty of anything in the first place, right? So she took some responsibility that she didn't deserve. She assumed that she was responsible for all this mess and this group of kids and, and she, she wasn't the owner of it, right? And all that leads uh, to her depression and um, hating herself and trying to commit suicide. And um, and now she messed it up because, you know, he almost died. And he's in a coma now. So she wants to fix what she broke. And I'm not sure if she really broke that friendship among them. She wasn't responsible for it, so probably she wants to give him a. He, she sees it as, as the way of her redemption is to try to bring them all together and try to have a, a normal life. Wait, is she getting out of the hospital every day? So, so she goes to see him every day, and she's wait and and Nimishima is waiting outside for for Bueno. What's the deal with this girl? Why this girl is visiting visiting him every day, and Nimishima is not allowed to see him? It's because she's there. Where's the mother? Did he, did he just woke up? He just woke up. She's there. I thought that she was. She left already, but no, she's there. <laughs> Her face. あのさ、西宮、俺。君に生きるのを手伝ってほしい。That line is powerful, man. 西宮。
しぼいことで言っちゃったらやばいわごごめんね忘れて気にしない<笑>今の忘れて死んでないよマリアあら上野さんじゃないあの子ずっと翔ちゃんの看病してくれてたのよお礼しときなさい So she was in the hospital every day お見舞い来てくれてた I see So she's jealous That's her problem They are all together now No crosses She's trying to like she's starting to like her. I mean she's trying to communicate with her hands now. I see. So the excess uh the crosses uh were a symbolism on her on his redemption. He finally achieved what he was looking for. She's so cute. She's a beautiful character. That was great. That was great. That movie was beautiful. I loved it from start to finish. I basically don't have any problems with this movie. Uh, I do have uh, something that was bothering me uh, by the third act of the movie. And that is that we never get to see Nishimiya final um, resolution, right? So this is the thing. By mid-story, she goes and, and confess her love for him, right? He doesn't understand that. But we know already that she has feeling for him. Um, that never gets a resolution. We go through half of the movie, the rest of the movie, without revisiting that. Now, we know that they ended up together. We know that uh, there's obvious feelings both from both sides. And the only thing that it might be blocking that resolution was that both of them were trying to achieve uh, their own redemption, right? To stop hating themselves. And they finally did. So there's nothing that can stop them to be happy now. And why not being together? And I think that's the ending that it should have had. But that step that she made by mid movie, it never was addressed again. So I was hoping that maybe by the ending, we could have seen this being addressed somehow, and it wasn't. The scene that I take from this movie, uh, which is the scene that I think that I'm gonna uh, take forever with me, is the classroom scene in which they are fighting each other. That that scene, I've been thinking uh, about that throughout the movie. Uh, it's very powerful. It's beautiful uh, in a sense that it's very real. It's very crude. I think that the director did an excellent job on making the viewer uncomfortable because it's an uncomfortable situation. It's a real situation. And probably you've been there before. I certainly been there before that if we had to witness uh, things that simply blow our minds in our real life and things that are very similar to these things uh, and that's where you notice that things can get uh, really bad 
So overall, this is a great movie. Uh, I'm very glad that I've seen it. And um, thank you all guys for recommending it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pull a post on my community uh, post once a week with a short list of five movies. So you will get to vote on it for four days. And that's what is going to be deciding uh, the next reaction that I I do if you like it, if you uh, enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comment section and uh, we will move in forward with it, right? So thank you all so much for watching and enjoying this masterful movie with me. Beautiful movie, very powerful. And uh, I'll see you all guys around and as always, I wish you all a wonderful day.